October the 16th, 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time. We're in our southernmost bee yard. It's a small little yard. We're going to get into some of these boxes right here. See what it looks like. We ain't been in them in a while. Oh, wow. Well. Pretty girls. Caught a few bees. One high beetle right here. Where'd it go? Bees jumped on it. Maybe it fell out. I don't see it now. I always like to look at my lids, see if there's a queen or a lot of high beetles or anything like that on there. I see it. Help them girls out a little bit. I ain't sure if this is picking it up or not, but We'll give her a go. They ain't thrown this out yet. Just now getting on it. Throwing this out a little bit. Got this side drawn out a little bit and a little honey. A little nectar they putting in there. We get a lot of uh, goldenrod right now, and a little bit of helianthus going on in our region. We're in zone 8B, big bend of the gulf, what they call the gulf, or right here is our queen if you see her, nice dark pretty girl. Right now we're going to catch her and we're going to mark her. Come here, guy. We got her caught up. We hold her. Check her dauber. Put a good mark on her just like that. Let her back on the frame and she'll go. There we go. He's tickled because I called it a dauber. That's what it is. This is a dauber. Paint, paint, paint dauber. Paint marker. Same thing. They're just starting to draw some of this out. It's crazy the queen was up here like this, but luck of the draw, I guess. Bees look good. I'm not seeing a lot of beetles yet. This frame here that I'm about to pull out was didn't have foundation in it. It was a starter strip. We did a little 5 8 piece of wax starter strip in the top groove. Used a paintbrush and melted the wax in on it. But you can see they put drone comb in there. This will be good come springtime. The queens will get on this and lay a bunch of drones in it. I like to give them a lot of drone space. It's good for making sure you have uh, mated queens. That's a bunch of capped honey there. Same thing on this side. Bunch of capped honey. Another frame of capped honey. I'm wearing this uh, chest mount. I'm not sure you guys can see this real well. Try to adjust it for you. 
more capped honey. More capped honey. More honey. More honey. And they're building this out, drawing this out, and packing in the honey. Let's check out this bottom box. I don't think you can pick that up, buddy. Yeah, I can, but I'm not at it. I got my helper here. It's stuck over there. It ain't stuck. You just weak. You got to lift it up. Set it on its side. On the ground, not on the lid, please. I'm a little helper. That's a heavy house. You think it weighs 40, 50 pounds? Yeah, about that. Yeah, that's good. For our area, that's real good. They're a little angry. Just took away their honey. Box of bees here, it looks like for sure. We got their honey in there, Queen, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe they'll forgive us. This is when we made splits a few months back. Just put a uh, foundation in. We didn't put any drum comb in. Trying to get them to draw some more out for us for the year. Some of you may know, know that uh, My typical uh, bee attire is a pair of shorts, Crocs, no veil, shirt is optional. Today I happen to have a shirt on. Bunch of pollen there, I don't see any eggs in that though, some honey. Give you guys a little adjustment. Definitely brood there, hatching brood and eggs. Some of it's been laid back. You see, some of these guys are hatching out. That's one right there. Yep, there's some there, there, there. Another one right there. Yeah, he's like, oh, he's coming out right now. Yep, this side's laid back as well. Still got a good drone presence, not heavy drones, just a good supply. I just jabbed a few girls. This here is laid up, hatching brood, uh, pollen on the outsides. A little honey in the corners, ring of pollen, brood. More pollen on this side, little brood, little honey. She's still very well active. She ain't shut down yet for the year. And I doubt she will shut all the way down. Here they've packed pollen in where broods hatched out. Kind of the same thing here. Still has room to lay. This is laid up. 
I don't know if the camera can see that. A little bit of cat brood, some older larvae, some large graftable larvae. He was grafting and then some eggs. So brood of all ages, some more brood all through that. Look at that sheet of brood, cat brood. <laughs> They're a long way from done here. More cat brood, holy Jesus. A bit of purpose on this one. Old cup. Pinch that. Some brood pollen, a little bit of honey. See the frame come apart there. I left it. I didn't do it with it. A whole nother sheet of brood. They look great. We're coming down here this evening. We're going to move this yard. We're preparing to take these bees further south. So they maintain the strong colonies for the almond pollination in the spring and hopefully uh, queen breeder certification come January. That's what we're shooting for. Full, full sheet of honey. Same, both, same thing on both sides. So this, this colony here has got plenty of feed for a while. We're going to carry these down to South West Florida in the next few days. And they will uh, be ready for splits probably couple more weeks three weeks yep I'm ready let's put this on so we don't have the problem in stepler has I kind of wish we did sometimes I would be a nice break but at the same time I enjoy my bees it's not a how-to as Mike Berry says this is how I do my bees Feel free to do your bees however you like to do them. And remember, be kind. Drippin' Comb Bee Company. See you on the next one.